So more like this. Just it's totally okay. Yeah, there you go. So good. You don't understand what's happening and you keep trying to apply force this way. I, you're never gonna get better. You might you might get better at matching it up and compensating, but you're always you're always you always have a confusing concept of actually what's happening in the golf swing. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Got a really exciting video today. I'm at Rustic Canyon Golf Course in California with Dan Martin. Dan, I'll give you an air elbow there. Actually, air elbow for sure. <laughs> uh, did, just did a, a cool video with Dan for my day job that'll that'll go up on the network that I work for. But today we're talking, Dan. Uh, the the original reason I got in contact with you is a friend of mine was using this training aid mm -hmm. that I thought like that looks really cool and it's a it's a, a friend that that has some swing problems but when i saw him swinging this training aid a lot of them were not very evident so uh so what what is this you have here well it's called the pro uh, so the pro is a, a true swing development tool uh, that helps you understand how the actual physics of sequencing works and gives you a means to actually be able to feel that um, most players really struggle with conceptualizing the golf swing, and so they have a lot of misconceptions. And, and you know, we can say that's the fault of instruction or just general instinct of people. But um, we can eliminate most. Of, I think we can eliminate all the problems that people have with the golf swing without perhaps you know filling their minds with a bunch of different body movement parts and things like that. Now, is this something for for beginners or juniors or really good players or, or... A anybody? I mean, I'd say if you're a really good player, you've probably figured out swinging. Yeah. Um, so it may, may help you out, but I would say for sure, if you're getting into the game and really wanting to like polish your, or get your swing on the right track, for sure. Yeah. So I would say yeah, maybe not for a raw, raw beginner until they kind of got an idea and then in their hands and then, and then maybe not for the most elite player, but I'd say 95% of the golf population would benefit greatly. Okay. Well, I'd be in that 95%. So, um, all right. So one of the things I've been working on, Dan, is I feel, I feel like uh, a little confused on the way down about where to hit the golf ball, like where the hit comes from gotcha. and when the hit happens. Gotcha. How can this help with that? Well, well first of all, it's not a hit, it's a swing. So, okay. so we, know, we know in golf that we call it a golf swing. Well, a, something only swings when it's tethered around a pivot point and it can, it, it can use angular acceleration to do the work. Right. So without trying to get too much into physics here, at the end of the day, your swing, the thing that hits the ball, let's pretend we're a playground swing. So as, at once, the, once the playground swing is taut and it swings forward, it accelerates till it's, to its, uh, till it's uh, equilibrium point. We're trying to harness that idea. And we're able to put energy into that through various swinging systems in our body. So we actually swing three things in golf. You actually, your pelvis swings your thorax and your thorax swings your arms and then your arms finally swing the club. And so that's where sequencing comes in. And so we're going to discover a lot about what's messing up the sequencing. Um, so when you go into the idea of hit, well, hitting is a big problem because hitting, could, could you grab your golf club for a second? Sure. Let's, let's, kind, of, let's kind of address that, right? Okay. So if you just, you can hold, hold your golf club for a second and uh, yeah, flip it around yep. there. So the act of hitting, can you kind of hold the club out? Yep. So put, just press the club into my hand. So you feel, so yeah, feel how you're pushing against the shaft and you're, so you're doing two things at once. You're pushing the shaft, but you're also trying to flip it at the same time, right? Yeah. So those are hitting, those are hitting aspects. Yeah. So I'm trying to use it like a lever, uh -huh. okay? Swinging is the, very much the opposite. It's the energy of a stretched unit. Every particle in line can now pivot. So if I think of a, if I think of a playground swing, it doesn't work when the chains are bent, does it? Mm -mm. Everything has to be taught from the rider to the support for it to actually accelerate. And so we learn to align a force through energy transfer, not hit. Okay, so if, if, you are, if you're holding that like a playground swing, mm -hmm. right, and you just like put a hit into it, mm -hmm. it kind of wobbles and it doesn't go that fast. But if you just spin that and actually Very good, spin yeah. It, so, yeah. So if I actually spun this around, now we're talking with angular acceleration. Now we're starting to, one force is begetting another force. And they're actually interchanging in this exercise. Okay. So, so without kind of getting, without trying to get too crazy into that, the number one thing that this is going to help you with is training your hands to not add a torquing force to the golf club that's unnecessary. Because yeah, so, you want to, from here, you want to, this is a torquing force, which is a push pull kind of thing, right? Yeah, exactly. So, or, or, like, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> trying to make the club head go with your okay. hand muscles or your forearm muscles, as opposed to <clears throat> the club having a swinging energy that's, okay. that's developed under tension. Right. So, when I swing my pro, I know that I'm doing this well if I can keep the grip, the rope, and the cylinder in alignment. 
Okay, so what you're talking about here, if you go to the top, yeah. so if I pull this tight, yeah, see so how this, the grip? This, yeah, so if I'm sequencing well and I'm not adding a force to the club, then I'm good. If I add a force to the club trying to move the weight, this bends backwards actually. And you see this angle, which but you don't want. But your golf club yeah. does the opposite. It goes forwards. And so then you get in this very, very chaotic saving movement, and that's where all of our body problems are in our swing. Okay. Is we're always reacting to this force that we put into the club. So learning how to get rid of it as we come around is crucial. Once we're about to halfway point here, mm -hmm. everything swings itself, but it only works if there's enough energy in the system to give it tension and direction. Yeah. So, so we're basically gonna solve, I, I like to break down the golf swing into two things. You gotta train your hands and learn to discover how tension works. I'm not talking like contraction, yeah. I'm talking the state of being stretched. Oh, okay. And then you need to learn how to, to, you need to learn alignment, okay, or direction. And then align those forces you That's created exactly on the right. ball. That's exactly right, and so yeah. we, we, we talk about swing path, swing plane. Swing plane is an alignment concept. And both these things become very evident if I can if I can get these these two skills down, and then they're very transferable uh, to the golf club. All right, so so let's try to get. Uh, I'll hit some balls yeah, yeah. before. Okay. Awesome. Um, in a kind of before way, we got the camera set up over here to kind of see from here. So excellent. So in general, I like your swing. I think that a lot of times you actually make a good swing, and then the ones you don't like, you actually interfere with your swing. There's two different swings. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. So so there's there's kind of like one ideal. So like that one's got, that's got what I would call, so even though it was a pretty good hit, it's yeah. got a little bit of extra hand action in it. And I can hear it and sound it. The, yeah, divot, yeah. the divot's even a little revealing on that. That was a pretty good shot. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was, yeah. You, but, you, but, uh, but I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, so I can, I can feel it now that we're talking about it. There's that little uh, forced torque mm -hmm. that's in my swing, yeah. so to speak. So how, how can we use this to All get right, this so out of there? There we Great. Go. Get some rubbing alcohol on that there, and now we're good to go. Okay. Now good. You've, you've obviously used one. I know you've had you've had yeah. a pro for a good a good year or so. Mm -hmm. So, um, kind of just show me your show me your basic your basic your basic pro swing here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Kind of gotten with it. All right. Uh, put this in the center here. That won't make too much of a difference. Actually. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll align it. It'll align itself. Okay. Good. Yeah. Right, right. Right. Okay. So here and. Then. Good. So, the first thing, first thing I'll kind of, I'll kind of say here, you're very good at not bending it. Yeah. But I need to get energy into. I, I'm, there's no tension on the rope right now, so your swing. Yeah. Is great job not using the hands here. So show me in a face on here. Yeah. So to the camera. So that one looks like this. So I'm kind of like. Yeah. I'm trying to accelerate. I need. To I, because when I got it, I, I heard the thing was the the big thing was. That this correct. comes in a straight line. And so what we have so to learn because this is on. a rope is that we actually have to almost feel like it's in an orbit. Okay. So your hand, your hands, your hands or your kind of hand path to be called that, your wrist joints, they work in an orbit. So if I just kind of just pull it down like that or just let it drop, yeah, I can keep the torque out of it, but then I don't feel like I have any power. Right. I Or power, I feel like my power is so late. Yeah, yeah, the power in the golf swing is right there, and then it's all release at that point in time. And so once we get it out of our body into the pro, when we're left arms just past parallel, this is all just this is all just ride. Uh, and so that's the first thing we need to clarify in your swing is that the more you try to jump into your shot, the more you have to hit it with your hands. Yes. And so what happens is we don't trans in that 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 creates a lack of transfer from our initial uh, lower body pelvic move. And so we're pretty much just jump and hit. And if you're strong, you can hit the ball. You're a strong guy and mm -hmm. you're, you're tall. You can hit the ball pretty far doing that, but it's erratic. Yeah. Okay. So to get control of our swing, we actually really need to find the predictable orbit that, that, uh, that, it, that it goes on. Okay. So, so our first adjustment with you mm -hmm. is to teach you how to get it outward more. So instead of trying to go down like that, what I want you to do is I want you to look, yeah, it's more like that, oh, but, right. with, but without flipping it. Okay. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to go face on so people can yep. see me. Mm -hmm. So I'm here, and this was before was spin and yeah. So I don't want to do that. Okay, yeah. good. And no, very good. That was, that was actually quite good. Very good. Awesome. So so even though this is a, a lot of people bit of an, would think like it's that's a, a cast. Yeah, it's not a cast though because if you watch this in slow motion, it's not kicking up. Okay, I got you. So this would be a cast if I did that. Correct. Oh, there oh, you yeah, go. Exactly. Right. Now that's so that's every every struggling golfer's problem. That's the wrong that way. Yeah. That's throw an angle. Okay? Yeah. Right. And so yeah, the pro bends, but there you go. That was great. Like uh, Malaska told me once, he really wanted me to feel that arrow out of the quiver there. Yeah. 
No, here's your, here's your, if you like that drill, here's, here's your training aid. But here's what, here's what you've done that's really wood, good with it through practice. Because, I mean, you can admit it's not easy learning that, is it? it takes, no, it's not. Yeah, it, that's the thing. It it thing I've been doing it for a while. So, yeah. But I, I love this input because I was just hooked on the face-on view of, of making sure it was in line and then here. Right, yeah. right, right. Good, yeah. So I'm not putting any external force on the shaft. I'm actually learning how to get the, get the energy out of my body into the swing and let it go. And so that's, that's, that's where most golfers struggle. They think they need to do something with their hips, their chest, their shoulders, or their hands extra than they need to do. Whereas the, the swing is kind of over here. Yeah. And then it's all of a sudden it's in the golf club and everything else, again, is what I, what, I call, what, I call, what I call ride. And so the more a player tries to add force, the more they tend to have to use their hands. So once we've trained that, which you've done a really good job with, we want to start to apply that in our golf swing and start to understand that, okay, I need to learn how to align that force now. Because I don't want to be like the world's best looking swing the pro. So how can I get this into my golf? Very club? good. So let's, let's put, let's so, put let, now that we have a feel, let's put yeah. the, yeah, we'll put the pro down for a second. Yeah. And the first thing I want to see you do is I want to see you take the golf club up to about three quarter. Okay. Note, note he doesn't have to overswing. Mm -hmm. Everybody worries about overswinging. Okay. Now I want you to take a look at your hands. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Can you just, can you just kind of let them stay in that shape and just follow their motion? Yeah, there you go. Good. Without it, without adding any force, I want you just to feel like the the golf club just kind of goes, and then you're just gonna ro you're gonna rotate with it. Go ahead. Because you're kind of holding onto it and oh, steering okay, it a little bit. So I want the opposite actually. I want you to feel like the club can just release itself. There you go. Better. And your body your body needs to learn how to learn how to sync up with that. So a lot of, a lot of the positions we see in good golfers coming through here. They're not really adding force into the swing at that point yeah. in time. They're actually riding the force that they already created. Okay. Yeah, it's much, I think I, I'm used to going like this and then torquing yes. it around from there. Yeah, so it's it, kind so of loading it and torquing it. And the, the difference, uh, folks, is I'm here and I'm, I feel like the rope is there and I'm taking that rope and I'm just keeping it in line like this. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, as we work that backwards, that actually is, it's gonna, be, it's, gonna be, it's gonna benefit your sequencing. So the first thing I wanna see happen is if my hands are active, can I just start to let the golf club feel like it swings my hands? Mm -hmm. So just to start to calm those down and start yeah. to realize, okay, yeah, I don't really have to pressure or, or manipulate the shaft that much to get it to work. Very good, awesome. A little bit, a little bit, kind of a little late on that one. Okay, okay. okay. I'm gonna explain about tension here in a second. So this is this is this is this becomes kind of the struggle is that yeah. the club on some of your swings is picking up tension and some of them they're not. So if I'm swinging my pro, I know the cl I know this is picking up tension if it's in a line. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I sequence and my, my 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 pelvis starts to go and turns my chest and then swings my arms, I know this has is working. Those first pro swings you showed me, there's no tension. No, no. That's a habit in your golf swing actually is that when you transition, a lot of times this is soft and doing its own thing and then your brain goes crap i got no speed and then it tries to speed up late okay. and that causes that can cause a shank a top i mean in, in, in very in various types of swing mm -hmm. we need to get your body movement to make the club and make your body feel like it has more stretch right. to it so but don't most let, most bad players or, or over the top players or people that are struggling don't most of them they get a ton of energy up here Yes, but it's coming from their hands, and it's coming from their their chest turning. So an over the top. So, so like their their T spine and and hands together. Right, and they're and they're trying to rotate it to the ball really fast, yeah. and they end up ahead, so it kicks the club out, and then they uh -huh. have to cut back across. Now, it. now when when a pro, like when like Tiger Woods or, or any really good pro is at putting like you know putting line tension into the shaft yes. mm -hmm. up here. How are they doing it differently good. than the bad so, player? So, so let, me, let me walk you through it. This is really good. Okay, so, yeah. take, so go ahead and take it to your top swing. We'll just use you as, as the Tiger sure. Woods. Okay, so could you, I'd like you to create a little more extension out your arm more. You can go higher and, and wider. So a little wider, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. feel like a big quote. Now, mm -hmm. if you move your pelvis just a little bit. Uh, bump it? Or yeah, just, yeah, bump it. Just, just no, even less. Even less. Feel how it kind of puts a little bit of stretch through your body. That starts to spin your 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 uh, your thorax. So your thorax then moves mm -hmm. a little bit. And then that transfers to your arm. So it's in the movement of sequencing through the body in these first three segments that happens like that. Oh, yeah. It's really hard to detect for a lot of players. If I do that well, the club almost kind of stays there for a second. Quote unquote, keep your hands up, if you will. Yeah. So, and then it picks up the energy. And so, and, and, and once it's got the energy, then it's, it's, it's good to go. 
So that moment of transition, if the golf club doesn't have a sense of being, if you can't kind of feel like it stays there for a second, mm -hmm. so you can start to you can start to transfer that energy, mm -hmm. then it's very very difficult to very difficult to hit it. And this is kind of where okay. your swing is at. It's like in this part. Hey, I need to clean my sequencing up right. more than anything else. And you right. got good basic positions and movements. So so they're taking it and from the top. They're they're using kind of everything in right. a line yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, and everybody they're, else is is. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about line of action as well too. But yeah, most but most most players are not sequencing in a way that they actually get their their arms to stretch and the club to actually get, get energized. Because once there's tension, once there's tension through these things, it can swing. You can't transfer energy from one segment to another segment without it having a stretch on it. Right. And that happens through the body and in the club. So the pro isn't just a model of kind of the club itself. It actually is a way of, it's a means of starting to understand how your, your physiology actually works when it swings at its highest speeds. Okay. And then what it's tending to do when it's not. <laughs> yep, if I was to hit, swing this, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd want, I'd want, I would want you in, in, for your swing, I want you to feel a little bit wider up mm -hmm. here, so this is a little more stretched. So when you actually start to sequence, you actually can feel that faster. So you don't uh, have okay. to like force yeah. it to happen. Yeah. It should just happen. It should just happen as a response to where the golf club is. Better. That, that was good. That, yeah. How clean that was. Mm -hmm. And half the shots I've watched you hit today, just casually, is like, yep, half of them have really good sequence, and the other half are loose. Yeah. So you yeah. Don't, you're not. So you're not experiencing good tension. No. So sometimes, yeah. Yeah like, yeah. like I said, if you were to hang from a pull-up bar. Okay. And it start. And if you start to pull yourself up. Yeah. You're using muscle. You're burning energy like crazy. Yeah. That's what most golfers are doing. They're tightening up. But if you just hung there. You stay there for a long time until finally like your grip pressure gave up. So I need that feeling of being okay. what the pro is doing through all the segments happens through my body as well. Okay, so we're flip flopping from the pro from the pro to the eight mm -hmm. iron here. Yeah, so you want to go. Yeah, got to got to break the rules of golf swing with the pro. There you go. Good. So that was a little uh -huh. too much speed out here. I want it more more tension that side. Very good. All right, Dan. So when I'm swinging this, good. Less that? less speed out front though. Okay. Correct. That's more what I want you to feel, actually. Because it's kind of it's, it's weird difficult you want... because it's fun to correct swing it fast. So, yeah, so if we were doing speed training, that's a lot of speed training is about getting out front. But that's yeah. actually not what really happens in a swing. So this is like real physics okay. here. Yeah. Is that the the energy transfer to the golf club is much earlier, better, even a little more passive than that. Your alignment skill is great, though. You've done such a good job of training your hands. That's awesome. Good. Now note that as you go back. Notice how your arm kind of goes out a little bit. Uh -huh. When I go to the golf club, I don't need to bend it in, so I can already have that pre-extended. So uh -huh. a lot of this gets eliminated in the swing. It's my preference. I like wider swings with a nice kind of compact yeah. set. Then all I got to do is start to make the sequencing move. And the, the transfer line of, of tension through the body from, from pelvis to thorax and thorax to arm and arm to club, it happens very quickly. Okay? So if I'm doing it like, like if I'm doing it correctly here with the pro, yeah. right? Now it look pretty good? Yeah, this thing is trying. Then what do you want my brain to be to be, to be like, oh, okay, that, what, I want what you do you want me to be? I want you to feel like you don't have to rotate anything past this point right here. So like if I was to put a, let me get an aim stick here. Yeah. And this is kind of like the mainstay way I train people with a pro too, to learn, to learn the kind of whole dynamic very simply. So if I was to put you, can I get you up here in the front of the aim stick here? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I just want, I'm going to pretend like there's going to be a ball the pro's going to run into. Now take at the, at the tip there? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Now take it back. I want your force to direct to the end of the stick, okay? Oh. So you're only going to turn basically your lower body and your chest are only going to turn to the end of the stick. And by then, energy's into the arm and then everything else is, again, what we call is ride. I'm kind of riding with it. Oh, that's cool. So it's over early. See, I don't want the speed in the front. That I tried to explode through. I want you to just go ahead and let it go without... Yeah, there you go. And you don't need to turn hard. So more like this. Just... It's totally okay. Yeah, there you go. I want to feel what it's like to get the club to go as opposed, and then respond to it as opposed to feel like I have to speed it up. My sequence is wrong. I'm not... There you go. Better. better. Mm -hmm. Remember, this doesn't have a lot of weight, so it doesn't require the dig-in that you'd be used to with a golf club. So it's very, very light. That's why you can repeat this over and over and over again. And we just want to make sure that the, the, the alignment of the, pro, the grip and the cylinder are a little straighter. They're a little bit, they're a little yeah, bit cat. Because I'm making a full backswing and then I'm just turning to there. Yep. Just turning to there. 
and then the momentum of the club has started and then I just that's exactly right so yeah at that point at that point in time basically as because most players try to over rotate early and over overdo there you go and I, what I want is I want them to get it in the right spot and then ride with it there you go much better okay so let's take it to the golf club okay I really like that drill that you had. We'll have a have a point in here. And a yep. Point there. Mm -hmm. That sets up what's called parallel to the line of action. So, because okay. no, force isn't directed at the ball, force is directed back here, and then the, that, that allows the swing to pick it up. Okay. So swing plane and, and the path of the hands go on a go on a an inclined plane basically. Okay. And it's happening in an orbital fashion at the same time. So if I try to direct my force at the ball or my intention to hit the ball. I can over rotate my chest like an over the topper, or I can try to jump my hip out in front and get underneath and, and, and dumped under. A lot of bad things happen. Then I have to torque the club to, to catch it back up. Okay? But if I start to direct the force in the right direction, the swing wants to go there. And I just got to train my brain to respond to the swing instead of try to force the shot to happen. Hardest part about learning golf. How hard um, should I hit this shot? Let's go just kind of like 50% tempo. Okay, so then just try to swing it like the pro. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Oh, great. If there's nothing else your viewers get out of today, is to understand the misconception that is, pervades this industry is that you have to keep putting effort in past, like, again, P5 or like a little, a little short of halfway down. It's over. Whatever you've done at that point in time, as far as the physics of a swing, are done. And everything you're seeing that a pro does is, again, I like to call it ride, but they're, they're basically responding and supporting the swing, not adding force to it anymore. So, so a good right. ball striker, you still feel activity. There's still ground pressure going on, but we're not, we're not speeding the club up anymore. It's going to go as fast as it wants to go. Yeah, so the, so the better I get at this part of the swing, the more energy I can get out. So when you watch really good players, and especially if they have some flexibility, well, yeah, they can separate a little bit more. And then they can transfer more from the hips to the thorax and a little more to the arms, like a DJ who gets really open in a shot. But Webb Simpson hits it good. He yeah. makes a good swing. Yeah. It just doesn't, it's not, it's more like mine. It's more, it's a little bit, it's, it's a little bit more like subtle than what the lower body does. And most, most people, if they want to copy swings, should look at swings like that and not look at swings like DJ or Rory who have these incredible athletic well, physiques. I talk to Kyle Berkshire, uh, on my channel mm -hmm. at the show the thing that he said when he's really trying to kill it and wants, wants to really kill it with the lower body what he felt was he took a huge backswing yep. and right from, from the backswing he wanted to go in and out of the ground like quick yes immediately. Yep. so he'd go boom like he'd go into it yep. and out of it real quick perfect so, so, so all, we like so the jump you see in him doing it is his, yeah. that's his ride. Yeah, okay. that, that's him just l getting out of the way basically is, is, and letting that golf club rip as much energy into the ball as possible. Through impact. Yeah, Matt O'Grady said it was all done right around, around P5. Okay. I, mean, I mean, all these guys know this. It's just like, it's just hard to communicate that. Great. Very nice, good, okay. And so as you get the feeling of getting the energy in, it's like, wow, this club's got some energy. Well, how do I match up with it? And, and that's my preference for teaching golf. So I don't want to get, Let's, let's not worry about like copying a player's looks. Let's actually get them feeling what is happening and see how they develop. Yeah, how would you create that? Exactly, and then that's where we're gonna you know, swing your swing. You know? You're gonna, we're, we're all gonna look a little bit different based on what we're capable to do, but we all can create force correctly. Everybody that plays golf can do it. That was awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Dan and I talked for a really long time, so this is gonna be broken up into multiple parts. So click the subscribe button to see part two where Dan gets into how, to, how the forces change with the different clubs and uh, especially with the driver. We get into that and there's some really in-depth analysis of really where the hit comes from, where the power uh, is generated and how the force should be directed. If you guys are interested in the pro, I organized a special discount for Be Better Golfers. You'll get free shipping if you go to bebettergolf.net slash pro shop. You'll see the pro on there and all orders for the United States are free shipping. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you later.